not done with auto just yet. The global NCAPS report from last week red flagged India's popular cars for not adequate body shells and the absence of frontal airbags. But the auto industry is hit back, led by Maruti, raising questions of a possible conflict of interest between the Brussels-based organization seeks to do for passenger safety and its principal partners. Ranjoy Banerjee brings us that story. The NCAPS statement, which is not backed by any kind of evidence, right. is just a statement. Right. It's also interesting that NCAP is only doing tests relating to occupant safety. And many of their sponsors mm -hmm. are people who make equipment for car safety. Like? Autolive, mm -hmm. Denso, Bosch. This is what the industry tends to do when they are feeling under attack or they're in a way neglecting what they should be doing. They try and throw sand in the air and confuse everybody. They should get on with the proper job of building quality vehicles that meet appropriate safety standards and do well in crash tests. This is the latest twist in the battle between Global NCAP and India's auto industry. In question is GNCAP's Stop the Crash program launched last year in Brazil that is some of the world's leading airbags and airbag technology providers as its key partners that together account for a lion's share of the global market. Take Autolift for instance, a Swedish airbag maker which alone enjoys a near 40% market share and is one of the key partners for the initiative. Continental, another leading global component maker that produces safety control units for airbags and Denso too are part of the campaign. Even Bosch that develops critical sensors that are essential for release of airbags and ZFTRW are partners for the campaign. But Global NCAP maintains that there are clear firewalls between Stop the Crash initiative and its core crash testing methods. The companies you mentioned, including Autolive and uh, uh, Bosch, TRW, uh, but we, we make no apology for working alongside uh, companies like that. But what we wouldn't do is uh, allow them to fund our core crash test work. That is done completely independently and separately. They did all the same sort of thing in Europe 20 years ago. Whenever you subject them to independent testing, they say, oh, there's some commercial agenda, we want to build test labs, or we're working for certain manufacturers. Well, it's all rubbish. While initiatives like Stop the Crash campaign may indeed be completely separate from global NCAP's core crash testing, but the separation may look less obvious to the outsiders. According to a Reuters report from last year, Global airbag makers are gearing up for high growth in India, where they are expected to grow 11% to $2 billion by 2020, outpacing China's 9% growth. Not bad for an industry which is otherwise pegged to grow around 8% in the rest of the world. The higher growth is primarily on account of India formally adopting the Bharat NCAP standards from October 2017, which will make it mandatory for all new cars to meet frontal crash test standards at 56 km per hour. The new norms by the government have been finalized after consultations with Global NCAP, a move that has indeed irked some sections of the industry. In New Delhi, Ronajai Banerjee. Well,